Merry Christmas everybody, Mason here, and today I'm actually here to show you my final project for my Internet of Things course through Ivy Tech. Now, this is something I've been wanting to do actually for a long time. Uh, it's using a Raspberry Pi 4 uh, to basically emulate games, but I'm building it into the back of an old computer monitor. So stay tuned, set back, and enjoy! For this project, I decided to use my Samsung SyncMaster 750S. It was made in 2001, has a display resolution of 720p, and has a refresh rate of 85Hz. Perfect for retro gaming. So then I got to work, making sure that all electricity inside was discharged before opening it. Once inside, I located a spot in the back right corner of the monitor where there was enough room for me to install the Raspberry Pi. Finally, I installed RetroPie on the Raspberry Pi system, then installed it into the back of the computer case, making sure it wouldn't move, winding up cords and making it look neat and tidy. I also cut a hole through the back of the computer case so I could run power cords, video cords, and USB adapters through so I can add more games at a later point. So if we turn it on here, press that power button, you'll see it starting up here, and it'll actually start up RetroPie. Uh, which is an emulation software that you can use on the Raspberry Pi system. I personally have the Raspberry Pi 4. You might see some flicker. That's because of the uh, refresh rate of the screen matching up that of the camera. Uh, very common for old screens when you're recording. It takes a second to start up. Then it starts up to here. Uh, and here you have a main menu, configuration menu, that you can enter in. And you have different audio, Bluetooth, themes, file manager, stuff like that you can deal with, uh, including Wi-Fi. But if you go back, uh, as you can see, we have some uh, different game systems. We have the Nintendo Entertainment System, N64, Super Nintendo. And that's actually not marked right. That's actually the Sega Genesis. Uh, and I only have a couple games downloaded so far. For example here, let's say we want to go over and play an NES game. Well, I got Castlevania 3, we can press start. We'll take a second to load it up. Before you know it, you're in the game and playing. And as you can see here, I'm kind of failing because I'm trying to use one hand, but that's basically the gist of it. Another game I got installed on here is Mario Kart 64. Let's boot that up and try that real quick. So as we can see, here starts up Mario Kart 64. Let's start up a game, why don't we? So here we're starting up a game on Mario Kart. Yoshi, of course. I have it on EDs, easiest difficulty. So. so you can say it plays fairly decently. Just about like you would expect from an N64, or actually probably a little bit better. So there you go, that's basically the overview of my uh, Raspberry Pi 4 built into the screen. Uh, the whole reason I wanted to do this, um, I'm really a fan of this old CRT uh, cathode raid tube television technology. Uh, it's really interesting how it works, and it actually displays you know older games a lot better than newer screens would. Newer screens all stretch the picture, and this actually is higher refresh rate than a lot of monitors sold on the market today, which will make it be a lot more fluent feeling. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. Well, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Um, I intend to add a lot more games to my collection here uh, on the Raspberry Pi and in physical media. Um, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed.